coach in women's basketball. They were beat by 31 points. Did you see the number of assists? 19 to 5 tonight. And this is a team that averages over 20 assists. The only team that beat them in assists this year was Penn State. A pair of free throws makes it 66 to 41. Catching's now up to 15 points. She averaged 15-7 during the season and almost 17 during the tournament. And she's going to have to get that three-point shot going in this with these five minutes left. You call Lawson for a bump before the shot. You know, Sue Bird and Carol Lawson played each other back in the AAU days when they were in fifth and sixth grade. It was Susie Q and pigtails. That's what Carol Lawson wore all the time with the braided pigtails. Still 5.38 to go in this one. UConn up by 25, and it would take uh, something of a miracle to get Tennessee back in this game. They will virtually have to make every shot the rest of this contest. When we're done here, Sports Center coming your way. Stay tuned for that. Lawson will bring it up, 67-41. Every pass, every shot contested. Catching on the way in, and she's fouled before the shot. What's made it really difficult also for Tennessee is, is their entry passes. Connecticut is overplaying, and Tennessee is not able to take advantage of any kind of situation to roll off the, that defense or to look back for it because defensively, Connecticut is really helping out. Stacey Hansmeyer, the senior, and I'm sure Paige Sauer, a senior on this Connecticut team, looking to get some playing time. That's what the ovation is for. She waits at the scorer's table. Hansmeyer from Norman, Oklahoma, 6'1 senior, with a huge smile on her face as she checks into the ball game. She was a freshman in 1997, and the year, two years before, Connecticut went to the Final Four, so this is her first time. Fortunately for Connecticut, bounces back to the Huskies and throws him over. Five on the shot clock now. Jones, good head fake to get in the air, but she missed the shot. Gino R. and Emily saying, what kind of offense was that? <laughs> it's the kind that's put up a 25-point lead so far. Good double team by Connecticut. Catchings has to get rid of it, and that's the one player they want to get out of her hands. Shot clock down to seven. Lawson leans into one. That's a tough shot. She couldn't hit it. Randall trying to keep it alive, and there's a foul underneath. Well, with some of those blocks that Connecticut has as a team, they probably would have a record if they don't already. And Kelly Schumacher with nine. Nine blocks, a championship game record. She's also come through with six points and six rebounds and when you have somebody step up like that it really inspires the other players well it really does because everybody's looking at the all-americans and and the players that had such good games at the game before like bird and lawson and sometimes it takes pressure off a player like that and say hey nobody's expecting anything from me i'll try it and they're holding tennessee to a staggering 28 percent shooting percentage in this game Samika Randall only with six points, one field goal in this game. Pass too high for Jones. Here comes Elzey. 4.06 to go in the game. 23 point difference. Snow this time moves away from the double team. Randall offensive rebound. Elzey offensive rebound. 67 to 46, a half dozen for Kyra Elsey, who started and played tonight for Ace Clement. Shea Ralph, guess what? Another backdoor cut. 
and Hansmeyer with an excellent pass that time. That's off that weak side screen. Very patient. Tennessee still has not read it, and they've not given any weak side help at all during this game. Tennessee trying to run the exactly the same set here with no success. Catching skip pass knocked away by Bird. 69-46, UConn after a national title. Talented people, certainly. She had the three meeks as they won those three consecutive national championships. There's Shamiqua. But Connecticut is off to a heck of a start in this decade. Hey, Gino Ariema, coach of the year, three-time coach of the year. And he's done it with, yes, a lot of talent. People think, well, you should get it with the talent you have. But, you know, you can go back to, like, the Lakers and Pat Riley and, and uh, Jackson with the Bulls, and, and they didn't get coaches of the year because people expected it with the talent. One of the great things he has been able to do, certainly he has talent on this team, but he has made them all conscious of their role and the fact that if, if nobody is selfish and they all play to their roles, they can win a national championship. And you know what? He was dead right. They have done it. And there's Paige Sauer, and that'll get a tremendous ovation from the Connecticut bench and the stands as the 6'5 senior gets her first bucket of the championship game. You really can't say enough about those bounce passes. Oh, they've been splendid. The ability to pass the ball, I think, has been the key to every Connecticut game I have seen this year. They are exceptional passers. And they've taken care of the basketball in this game. In the beginning of the game, Tennessee really struggled. They had 12 turnovers in that first half. And these kids are so mentally tough as well. I mean, they don't want to just beat Tennessee tonight like every other opponent they faced this year. They want to clobber. And right now they're doing it, 71-48. It just fuels the fire for more games against these two teams. Yes, it does. And you've got to hand it to both of these programs for willing to play a home-and-home -home series during the season. You know, that's really important. And going back and reading about when this first started, ESPN was looking for a game on that date and North Carolina was a national champion, they didn't want to go to, back to Connecticut and play. And Tennessee stepped up, and that's the one thing Pat Summit has always done, is promoted the game of women's basketball. The celebration has begun in Philadelphia with a minute 33 to go in the game. Catchings at the line. Pat Summit all season long wore a Duke jersey t-shirt and shorts running to get in shape to get her team to the final four to remind her that Duke was the team that knocked them out last year. I wonder if she'll be wearing Connecticut. We'll see next year. Sue Bird, Abrosimova, and Shea Lau check out of the ballgame. Christine Rigby is in for the first time and Gino Oriama hugging each one of the starters as they come out. They know they've got it wrapped up now. Jay Ralph, quite a game tonight, 15 points. She had seven of eight shots from the floor, seven assists and six steals. Yeah, we, Sports Center coming up following our broadcast, only 1.24 to go in this one. We talked so much about what Schumacher did inside. Hey, I tell you, on the outside, Jay Ralph was tough. She had her hands all over the ball on the perimeter. Turnover taken away by Christine Rigby. She gets the loose ball. One minute to play for the national championship, and the UConn fans will be on their feet the rest of this ball game. Well, the players are smiling out there. Stacey Hansmeyer had that grin ear to ear in a tough game for Michelle Snow and the Tennessee bench. They've got nothing to hang their heads about because they had a wonderful season making it to the finals after they were gone last year. Well, they'll finish 33 and 4. Just a remarkable record, but UConn will top them. They will finish 36 and 1. 
Gino Ariema said, hey, that loss we had to Tennessee, if you'd asked me then, I did not like that loss. But you know what? You ask me now, going into the tournament, I was happy because it took the pressure off me and the team from the media being undefeated. Junior center Kelly Schumacher, our Nike player of the game. 6.6 boards and nine huge block shots. An NCAA championship game record. Our congratulations to her, as well as her UConn teammates who stepped up in a game where they had to step up and did the job. Marcy Zell, number 13, is also in the ballgame as Gino Oriama has cleared his bench. Kirsten Walters, the only player that uh, was on the roster without an opportunity to play because she had to redshirt this year after knee surgery, so she will have to wait for a run at a national championship till next season. As you said, they've got everybody back. Good recruiting year as Tennessee and a lot of other teams. Yes, sir, Jackson. That's the beauty of this game, the talent being spread. There's more talent, for one thing, and being spread around to more schools but right now, these are the two premier programs in women's basketball. McDivitt with a great play to save that ball, and Lawson gets the assist to Jackson for the layup. Kenitra Johnson just trying to dribble out the clock. And Connecticut has done it. They have won the national championship here in Philadelphia. Both teams, when they lost early in the season, said, this is in March. This is in March. But boy, when it came, it's April now. The Connecticut Huskies were ready. Tennessee might have been hurt by Ace Clement. I don't think it would have made much difference in this game the way the Huskies played. You hope going into a championship game you will play your best. I think the Huskies can say tonight we played our best and they win at 71-52.